Tonight, we have a first-hand account of the growing human crisis on the Ukraine border. Tampa attorney Mark Wright is there right now doing what he can to help all those refugees. Eight on your side's Jeff Patterson spoke with Wright today. He joins us from Tampa, and what a noble thing he's doing. I can't imagine what that situation is like firsthand. Absolutely, Stacy. And to be perfectly honest, his family is a little bit nervous about where he is right now. This is Mark Wright's law office in South Tampa. And this is really rather incredible when you think about it. He's half a world away in Poland on the Ukraine border. And he's sharing his story from there with us. So I'm in a place called Karchova. At this moment, Tampa attorney Mark Wright is in Poland at a refugee center. So this is the second humanitarian uh, facility that we visited, I visited. He traveled from Tampa, taking a few donated items and has purchased more to give out. Mark is in Poland helping out refugees as part of the relief effort with the National Jewish Federation. We're very close to the border, just a few minutes from the border. And it's my understanding that the buses pick them up right from the border. And I was at the border yesterday. And then they bring them here. There's a couple of different border points. And depending on where the fighting is, in the Ukraine, one border is busier than the other. As war rages in the Ukraine, thousands are fleeing their homes. There's areas set up for just children, where the children are alone, uh, mostly mothers, young children, and some older people. Uh, there's an area for first aid. Handing out soccer balls to children, Mark Wright introduced us to one man who has lived his entire life in Ukraine, but he was forced to leave when Russian soldiers attacked his hometown. Thank you. Thank you from Ukraine. He speaks just enough English to tell us thank you and a little about where he's going. I want to go uh, to the Dutch. To Dutchland. Germany. To Germany. To Germany. Right. To Germany. And how are you going to get there? By bus? By bus. Mark Wright says he's seeing thousands of people just like this man, leaving their homes and doing the best they can to survive with courage and even a smile. Slava Ukraini! Amazing when you think about it. He left his lifelong home because Russian troops were attacking his hometown. So he's now there at that refugee center, and it's kind of incredible that something like a soccer ball can help in a situation like this. But Mark bought some of these over there, and he's giving them out now. Stacy. I know. Stories like this, Jeff, we love hearing about people, local people helping in a situation that we all feel so helpless about. What is he saying about the relief effort that he is seeing there? He says it's well organized, uh, that they're getting food and medical supplies to people, clothes and things like that. He says it's kind of odd in a way in that you'll be in parts of the city in Poland and it seems like just everyday life and then you go to the train station or you go to the border and you see thousands of people leaving their home country with little more than the clothes on their backs. All right, Jeff Patterson reporting live. Thank you.